The excitement for Duke football here near our nation's capital is real. Thousands of fans made the trip from the Triangle and beyond to see Coach Mike Elko in his final game this year. I'm from Chapel Hill, home, home of the Blue Devils, almost. We all came down. We're, at, we're actually like 10 hours away. We're from Kentucky, Tennessee. So We got up around, what was it, 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock, left about 5.15, 5.30, and stopped off and had a little Bojangles on the way. It's so much better. I mean, it just I figured early in the season we could win 4 or 5, but not 8. It's been incredible. He's just done a great job. It's amazing how he's turned it around and so fast with a lot of the same players that were there last year. It's just what he's done is given him uh, a whole new perspective on what this game is like at Duke. I know a lot of people probably had like doubts when he came in, but he's done a pretty good job with them. And I know all the players like him too. So The enthusiasm has just been incredible. So much different than last year. Coach Cut did a great job, but he laid the foundation, but this has been incredible. Just fun to watch. You know, Cutcliffe kind of got that going and then it kind of faded a bit. And now it looks like Elko's renewed it with a different, a little bit different approach. So this looks a lot more serious than, than it has the last few years. So it's for real. Annapolis, Trayvon Miles, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.